Uh, tonight's stream is brought to you by Tim, Pierre, myself, John, and I'm the drinking. Color Puce. And not Aaron, apparently. And I'll not Aaron. <laughs> Should we include a number for this episode? Um, yes. This episode is number 13. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> We've never been keeping track of that. <laughs> it's brought to you by the number 13. Yes. And the color puce. One. Ah, ah, ah. Two. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Sad to hear about uh, Adam West. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Guess he just couldn't find a good place for that bomb. Just biffed him out of existence. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Does this work? We'll see if this works. This might be loud. I don't know. I can't hear it. It hasn't oh, God. started yet. Just it. Turns out it's not in a proper format, so I'm going to have to go through and fix that. Ah. That would explain the static. Yep. <clears throat> that happens sometimes. I I added that in today and I forgot to check it before. Mm. Everything. But it's good to get the soundscape bot in here so that we can, you know, use that when it comes time. That was a mistake. Mistakes have been made. I accidentally clicked a YouTube link. Oh. That could have gone very poorly. <clears throat> yes, it could have. But it I don't... didn't. Which is good. I'm on Reddit right now, waiting while we're waiting to get Aaron in. And there's a... Do you know what TIFU is? Uh, no. Times I fucked up. <laughs> okay. Hey, Rose. And the title for this one is... TIFU by trying to pop a forehead zit and almost cutting my balls off. Alright, he's coming. He just needs a minute to set up. How does okay. that happen? That what? That's that's uh, that's what TIFU is. Is It's a very kind of obscure title that you kind of just are afraid to check. How What's does that even on? happen? He, he's Tim, on the remember, Reddit page TIFU. Do you know what TIFU means? Uh, um, did I screw it up? Yes. Pretty much. If you want to be censored about it. it's uh, The title, title of it was uh, TIFU by trying to pop a forehead zit and almost cutting my balls off. Ow! Yeah, you gotta read the story. Also, uh, Pierre, just so you know, you have 52,100 out of 71,000 XP. Just wanted to make sure you uh, kept track of that. Didn't want you to 52,000, get... you said? 52,100. 52,100, 52, okay. Uh... Out of 71,000. There's a place for it on the first page, right just below the skills. Yeah. I need to find a spot to put, because it won't let me put in, oh wait, insert sticky note. <laughs> oh, you've, you you've, 52, you've completed 100? your, uh, yeah, 52,100 out of 71,000. It, well, it doesn't let me put in anything to the left of it for some reason. I can still put things into the right of the experience. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know why, but you know. Yeah. I'll just leave that sticky note there. Just like I left a sticky note for where my HP was before I got it rehealed. Oh man, I need to. I'm I'm frustrated, Tim. I'm I'm frustrated I'm horny, Tim. because <laughs> <laughs> because Dominic's not here, so I can't frustrate him with this. Oh God! What is oh, going on here? Stop. Aaron, Aaron you... stop! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 
Was he eating his mic? No, it was just the problem he has with his mic sometimes. Um, okay, so you were saying you're frustrated because Dominic's not here and Peter's horny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Sure. <laughs> We can, we can, we can work with that. Um, mainly, I was going to say, I'm frustrated that Dominic isn't here, so I can't frustrate Dominic with bits. Oh. <laughs> You've still been doing bits within the streams, haven't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, what, our, I can what, imagine that. What we've been doing is, we've been doing it... Dominic likes numbers that are multiples of five. Oh. And so we'll do so like... 73 would really drive him <laughs> up the wall. So we do like 44, and then he does 45, and then we do 46 immediately afterwards. Mm. Uh. I'll have to remember this on my next payday. <laughs> <clears throat> uh... Tori wiped us out of the water yesterday, of though, because, uh, yeah, but it, you'd have to watch a bunch of ads at this point. Mm. Um, to, uh, I've been to doing me. surveys. I got, like, 2,000 from that. Really? Yeah. Where? <laughs> um, Send me links next time. Mm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, they, they were links specifically tailored for my Twitch URL. So. Oh, okay. I basically joined their study group thing. So they Gosh. ask me questions about Twitch and advertising stuff, and I answer them, and they give me bits. All right, well, send me links to how to join that. <laughs> send everyone links to how to join that. That's great. <laughs> uh, and uh, just... Uh, All right, it is going in the Twitch chat. And just uh, start everything <coughs> off. Chat. There is a nice little one bit thing. And you put a thing in a place. Uh, Bert seems a bit big. Yeah. He, he covers the screen on this one. Okay. He's supposed to. I just make it sure. Yep. I don't have my dice out. I should fix that. Uh, I fixed that. Yay. <laughs> <clears throat> Do I need a separate account for the RPG Twitch? or? Uh, no, I think it uses your regular Twitch account. Hmm. I gotta check if I have the right password in my account then. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I actually signed up, so I don't remember. Absolutely, positively. Uh, I'm trying to remember what uh, email address I use. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yes, you do need to create a new account for RPG. Uh, oh, okay. okay. My bad. Because it asked me if it asked me if I was a broadcaster or a viewer. I'm both. <laughs> Let's see what is the yes, iPhone. I don't own a tablet. A desktop. What year were you born? Nineteen eighty-seven. Just have the Nintendo Switch. Oh shit. Uh, um, games. Games. Uh, I've got a 3DS. I've got Dream an Android. Broadcast. Dream broadcast. Dream broadcast. Oh there. I really need to clean my dice. Are you, yeah. Yes. Do you use ad block? Yes. Are you gonna ban me from doing this if I use it? Uh... Oh, you're right. I should probably. So, I uh. I'd say five to ten. <clears throat> you up? I have, for over a year now, uh, set it so that I, I still use Adblock because it's hard not to use Adblock on the internet. 
However, I don't use adblock on anything Twitch related yeah. or YouTube related. Yeah, I try. All to the same, that. I'd still say yes because it's while it is a blanket statement, it you technically do have it installed and yeah. More than 10 hours. Absolutely more than 10 hours. <laughs> I appear to be signed up for Twitch RPG. Woo. Uh... I am not a Twitch employee. But are you a crook? I am not a crook. Do I need to verify my account next? Probably. Oh yeah, confirm your membership, yeah. Oh god! <laughs> I mean, if confirming your membership is that much of a hassle. <laughs> I think it was mainly the fact that uh, Aaron's mic activated for a half second and destroyed everything. <laughs> Mainly my eardrums. <laughs> but also everything. <laughs> Invitation study. I'm afraid. Oh, okay. That just shows all the activities I've done so far. Alright. So oh, this is a survey thing. I yeah. just signed up for a survey program. That's what yes, Tim said. I, yeah. Oh. Tim, Tim did say that. That's how you, you get the bits. Yeah, you get bits from it. So, And apparently a pretty good number of them. If you get to them in time. Uh, the surveys have uh, limited windows, so... Gotcha. They'll do like 500 people. Wow. And you shared this with the community? <laughs> yes, Take I did, back. because I'm betting most of you won't do anything with it. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? I'm going to check this every single day. No. You won't even have to. Even It'll send it you emails when the survey Yes, happens. even better. And they'll all be when you're at work. Uh, That's what's going to end up happening, is you're going to have to do it. Well, you're at work. Ugh. I mean, I could do that. I work at the supermarket. I don't care about yeah. the supermarket, even so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even a little bit. I, I essentially don't now. consider myself to be employed there anymore. <laughs> I wish you're I could do this. Rabble. Uh, yeah, there's nothing currently, but. Oh, well. Oh, oh hey, did you know that Pokemon Go is going to be free to play at E3 this year? Uh, isn't it already free to play? That's why my <laughs> face is in that. my hands right now. <laughs> it, it isn't, isn't it all, all, already? Tim? Tim? <laughs> <laughs> I heard they're handing out free keys for Team Fortress 2, too. Niantic, why are you being so weird? You and your weird <laughs> knees. Stop it. Yes, because Niantic's <laughs> the one that's going to hand out Team Fortress 2 keys. Well, I... <laughs> Tim was prevaricating on that one. Pretty obviously. Uh... Well... Are we gonna? We're we gonna start this. Is Aaron gonna fix this? I mic was ever? hoping Aaron would get in here soon. He is in here, tactically. <laughs> I was hoping Aaron would interact with us soon. <laughs> Hi, white noise. You're gonna make me fall asleep. Might be a good thing. Tim, I broke down and took a nap.
Tim, I burped down. It's not a mechanic. Tim, I'm broken inside. <laughs> That's <laughs> nothing new. <laughs> okay, I assume Ooh. the white noise isn't either of you? No, it's it's not. It's it's Aaron. Yeah, that's what I thought. Aaron, we're getting white noise from your end, but no voice. Still no voice. You should. Uh, He's been swallowed by the void. Put, probably he stared too long into. Type that into the the chat. I mean. It, it stands to reason that if we can't hear him, he possibly can't hear us either. I know yeah, that's, that's just fair. that's just logic here, but... Logic? <laughs> In this channel? <laughs> this is non-logical! I won't stand for this! I'll, I'm going to stream too! No, don't stream as well. Don't do no, it. He, he went to stream too. He's back from stream two. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh. At least Aaron feels come like back celebrating back to too. That. Yay. <laughs> <sighs> and that's why I never change from the opening screen. <laughs> <laughs> Tactical difficulties! Yeah! There we go. I did the command. Alright. I'll give Aaron until 20 after, and then we'll just start without him, I guess. Four more minutes... However, shall we pass the time? <clears throat> y'all, y'all excited for E3, which is currently happening? Um, I honestly didn't realize it was happening until like three hours ago. EA's Destiny Two looks dis interesting. <laughs> Is that Destiny T O O? No. No, it's T O. T O. T O. I can't me. believe you saw through me. T O. <laughs> but it was me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love JoJo so much. Oh my goodness. That, that is next on my list after I finish the show I'm watching right now. Pierre, have you seen Aramanga Sensei? I've seen a little bit. Isn't it trash? <laughs> Did I fix it? Uh, yeah, you fixed sort it. Sort of. I don't know you why I'm getting the white noise. Out. I find, like, one day my microphone settings are perfect, and the next day I've changed nothing, but they're all borked. It's actually gotten better the more you talk. Yeah. I, I it's knew it. Which is I weird. Think it's a case you of, don't like, really want to, you know, get you to no, talk more. No, it's that but... ding, like auto, automatic gain control. I can't turn it off. Like I turn it off, but for some reason my computer is automatically changing the microphone volume anyway. I mean, it's not on Discord side because. Dis yeah, I can't find any other... I can't find any setting. There's nothing running that's using the microphone other than the OS. And there's no setting in my microphone driver for, like, don't do that. Huh. Actually, I think there is, but I turned it off. There is something in Discord. I found it. It's, oh, uh, yeah. Input sensitivity. There, yeah. there is. But I turned it off. So but, it yeah. And, and I'm verifying yeah. that, like, I have it turned off, so my mic yeah. is always going, and... It, it it works like <laughs> okay but like if you pull up your microphone settings in your operating system the volume doesn't change right no I'm with mine the longer i talk the lower the volume gets like give it a couple minutes i'll be inaudible again 
I mean, sure, if you stop talking. All right, Tim. All right, so move over to the it's twenty after. We're actually starting now. Da -na -na -na. So, um, would someone summarize what happened last week? Uh, well, so uh, we all got together. Uh, everyone met up. Cirrus, Mike, Persephone, and Eugene, and uh, Pippi, and Pupper, and Droop, Bale, Turb, and Cerule. <laughs> and Mike. Uh, I said Mike. Oh, I didn't and hear Eugene. Mike. I heard Mike, all, Mike, all Mike, the Mike, was, Mike was the second name I said. Okay. And we all decided to embark on the... Or whatever her name is. Persephone. But I, I did say that. That was the third name I said. Um... So we all don't forget Cirrus. <laughs> so we all got together. We decided we were going to do the Mask and of Mike. Death quest, and uh, on the way, we decided to take another quest uh, that that we get, got paid half up first, uh, and we got paid ten platinum to kill a beast, and uh, then um, we killed two beasts. And, and two people died. Yeah, and nobody gave us the rest of the money. And so we're going to go back to town to A, get the rest of our money. B, um, uh, get some negative levels taken care of from someone who got squished and splatted all over the place. Do you know who that could have been, Aaron? <laughs> I think it was Pupper. No. Yeah, I think last time I mentioned anything about that event, I got banned from the Discord group. <laughs> Pupper did not get flattened. Pupper got eaten. <laughs> Let's be accurate Wait, here, Tim. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have raised this blood splatter then. Do we need any bit of the dog to be able to revive it? Uh, we already no, have some of the dog. Everyone's everyone's revived. I cut I cut Pupper okay. out of the uh, the the whatever it is. Shark. Okay. Yes, the shark. Tim, I have a shark. question. <clears throat> I have an answer. Are we playing Sharknado, the D and D? Oh, dang it! I just deleted myself again. <laughs> <laughs> I really do not Z. like this box selection tool. <clears throat> eh. Pupper. Oh no! Probably don't want to do that. There you go. Now you're visible on screen. Actually, we'll okay, well, Aaron, that. you just think about what you've done in Oblivion while the party continues on. <laughs> uh, so now we're going back to take care of some negative levels and to get the rest of our money from that jerk who shorted us. Okay. So heading back to town? Yep. Hey, uh, hey Mike, are you, uh, are you sober yet? Huh? Huh? Okay. He answered this time. That's better than last time. Something happened. I didn't see it. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know I just rolled a one on my random encounter table. So, all right, Tim. We don't have to face anything. I'm, I'm not. Or we DM, have to face the worst thing. <laughs> I don't know I whether DM, this is the equivalent of. You. Us rolling a one or are you rolling a one? <laughs> this is the equivalent of me rolling a one. Okay. Oh, awesome. If I were the DM, I would require that you roleplay that and that we encounter a pathetically weak creature, but you don't have to because I'm not the DM. Okay. <laughs> Aaron steps you in front of us. You encounter a clone of Aaron's character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aaron. <laughs> You At totally point, set yourself up I... for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Okay, so you make it back to town unmolested. Now what if Cirrus so wanted to be molested? Town. Oh, okay, good. We got. Oh, oh God. we got a map. <laughs> um, we return to the repository of doodly wisdom. <laughs> uh... Where'd I go? Oh, there I am. Did someone erase this extra crap here? Oh, that is my crap. Here. And this horrible thing. Nope, that's staying. No, that's staying, absolutely. 
Yeah. Well, okay. Forever. Do we, one. Do we have to get rid of Blowjob Lady? Take one. Yes, we have to get rid of We do have to get rid of Blowjob Lady. <laughs> okay, Blowjob Lady's gone. And this. And the building that's in the title. <laughs> that's not mine. Oh, wait, yes, it is. For some reason, I couldn't select it before. All right, good. Uh, now on to proper map making. First thing you do is get out all right, of the way so, so I don't delete uh, myself again. Our, our, so, you walk? <clears throat> we we Sorry, walk. Go ahead. Uh, we're, we're going to the temple. Is it, I'm, I'm telling you. So if you want to role play anything else in between, that's where we're going. All right. Well, you uh, walk back into the town. People are excited, but a bit confused to see you again so soon. Some are congratulating you. Some are wondering what happened. Uh, I don't have a good perform check. <laughs> uh. All right, so you make your way over to the temple, and you are greeted by one of the temple acolytes who asks what they can do for you. Um, we have two requests. Buy me a drink. That is neither of them. <laughs> <laughs> we are in need of a... Tim, is it a week to recharge the staff or a day? Um... Per, per charge. Uh, uh, one day per charge. One day per charge. Okay. Uh, we need or one day per caster per charge. We need to purchase some uh, spells. Body. I All right. I uh, have what... a perfectly well body. It's the other two that need help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, which spells in particular? Uh, Tim, what spells do I want? <laughs> it might help if you just told them the symptoms you want cleared up. We have two Usually negative people levels. People don't go to the doctor asking for a specific. Um, Tim, Tim, I don't medication. go in there and say I've got negative levels. My HP is low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got healed from the staff, and you feel weird. Uh, <clears throat> two of our members have gotten healed from the staff, and one of them f feels weird, and the other one's been throwing up the entire way here. And I'm drunk. Yeah, but there's nothing really we can do about that, except for find you a new tavern, Hair of the Dog. <laughs> <laughs> can we also get you to recharge a charge of the staff? I don't think innervated is the right word, Rose. I think Indeed that's we could. a positive right thing. If your two companions will follow us this way to the healing chambers. Oh, no, innervated is and correct. this acolyte over here will take the staff to have it recharged. That should only take a few hours. Innervated sounds like a positive word. Like, you're energized, but... Yeah, I know, it's kind of dumb. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, Pupper and... Uh, Are people still there? Per se, yeah, I'm here. Tim? I'm still here. Tim? I'm afraid we're going to have to stack up because I wasn't able to draw a big enough map. Tim, respond if you can hear us. We've lost him. That's not good when we lose the game. Technical difficulties! Yeah! And we go back to the opening page. Tim, 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 Tim get you and your weird knees back in here tim 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 we find tim, out tim. tim's sound card just gave out <laughs> awesome well i don't actually know that but it's the likely answer at this point yeah <clears throat> yeah it is uh so uh that means that one of two things is about to happen He's either about to call in from his phone, or... <laughs> okay, I'm back. My You're... audio bri driver broke for some reason. Called it! Yes, you absolutely did. Well done. 
What were his exact words? Uh, because I couldn't hear them. Your sound card gave out. <laughs> okay, it wasn't the sound card. It was uh, just the driver. The driver or the driver software? Uh, the driver software, wrong? actually. Ah, uh, I guess I I get a half point. We need to make that a drinking game now. <laughs> Anytime there's technical difficulties, we have to guess <clears throat> the real reason. Uh, okay, the more well, obscure it is, see, that's the not, more you have to drink. That's not fair for Aaron, because Aaron, statistically, from what we joke about, has the most technical difficulties. <laughs> that just sounds like you guys are going to be doing a lot of drinking. Yeah, no, we'll that's not fair for you. You don't get to drink any. <laughs> I can drink as much as I want. No, you can't. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out this internet that's going on here, though. I'm supposed to get an installation done Wednesday morning, so everything's going to change. It's going to be real interesting. <laughs> uh, what what are you on? Comcast, AT&T? Xfinity, yeah. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Which is, it's honestly really fast and really consistent, but I'm also pretty far from the router. I've switched Ooh. over to the 2.4, which is still decently fast, and it gives me a 10 megabit up, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much. No, that doesn't sound bad. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, it will be a lot more stable than the 5 that I was running last time hosting a stream. Yeah. All right, well... um. So they went to get healed and stuff and yep. recharged, right, Tim? Uh, that's correct. <clears throat> In the meantime, so I I point Mr. Jaro to the nearest bar and tell him you can only have I'm two. not Mr. Jaro anymore. Oh, sorry, Mike. sorry. I point Mike to the nearest Mr. bar. Mr. Jaro is lost somewhere within the fields of the <laughs> outer ring of the kingdom, still on fire. <laughs> Well, his companion shells, do you know Topamaran? <laughs> In a um, panicked voice. <laughs> At the top of his lungs. At the top uh, of his lungs. Uh, I, I, point, <laughs> I point Mike in the direction of the nearest bar and tell him only drink two. <laughs> Understand? Bars? Two. Yeah, he drinks two for gift. <laughs> Drink for two people. Got it. <clears throat> I don't know what's if, your con. If you're wondering whether you've had too much, just remember what Jonathan said. Drink two. <laughs> if you still feel like you've had too much, drink two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Mike, roll me a roll me a wisdom check. A wisdom check. So just Shit. D20 <laughs> plus wiz, wiz mod. Yeah, that's not going to be a good roll. <laughs> no, you could nat 20 it. Please. Six. Please. Oh. Six total? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, it occurs to you he didn't specify units, so a keg could count as one. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I, I left that open for interpretation on purpose, but... I have the gold for it. That still only counts as one. Uh, in the meantime... I take, this is the bar. Wait, Tim, I'm going to roll a perception check to see if this is the bar. <laughs> okay. Uh... See, oh, okay. That's a pretty decent perception <laughs> set of points. Seven. <laughs> you know I got what? a net one. <laughs> you don't see any sign saying that it's not the bar. <laughs> I roll again to find there is another something bar. about public drinking, but you had a TLDR <laughs> move moment. <laughs> or public intoxication, rather. <laughs> I look for another bar. 21. <laughs> okay, now you actually find a bar this time. Is it the bar I'm standing in front of? <laughs> uh, I... Sure, we'll call that a bar. 
So I've rediscovered the bar and <laughs> just lost. <laughs> so essentially what just happened is you went, no, that's not a bar. And then you looked up again, but that is... <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm. That is what drunk Mike is gonna be. Is he's gonna be perception checking everything? I walk into the bar and head immediately to the counter. Do I notice anybody as I'm walking straight? You notice the bartender, and nothing in between. Uh, that would be a perception check. That was the perception check. <laughs> check of ten? Yeah. Okay. Um, How many minuses you notice does he get notice a little old lady in front drunk. of you right before you trip over her. <laughs> I, do I go for a dodge roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roll me acrobatics. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to fumble so bad. 21! <laughs> That's pretty you good. You cartwheel over the lady. <laughs> Previously, you hadn't been able to cartwheel, and in the future, you won't know how to cartwheel. But this time, you did. <laughs> I continue making my way to the bar. Okay, in the meantime, I'm looking for the guy who gave us that quest. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, are you just going to wander the temple grounds, or are you going to ask about him? Uh, I'll ask about him. Make okay. him purple. <clears throat> there. Sorry, too much stuff. Right <clears throat> okay, tell me what to roll. <clears throat> Alright, uh, roll a... Let's do a perception check. Just to see who there is around to talk to. Okay. Uh... I got a 35 because I rolled a 2. Oh man, I'm not sure what I can do with that. <laughs> I see all the people. <laughs> do I see the you dude? You see more than you wanted to. <laughs> you don't the see the dude, but you do see another paladin of Theron. Okay. I speak to the Is paladin of Theron. I'm assuming the other guy was also a paladin of Theron. How yeah. do you greet him? Um, do I need to roll a knowledge religion? <laughs> Actually, I do, um, to, to it, know how to respond to him. It couldn't hurt. Yeah. Okay, it actually could hurt. <laughs> it could hurt. It could be a net one. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, 29. Send me what Not I bad. should, uh, tell him. <laughs> You open with the How Bible I should verse. begin my statement. And he begins to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Starts typing. Okay, well, it's actually not. It's not a statement so much as a uh, hand gesture. Hand gesture. Nice cop out. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally from the movie. Oh, dang it! <laughs> uh, all right, I, I show my hand gesture, the proper one, not the middle finger. <laughs> and I, I move forward to speak to him. Uh, well met, sir. I would like to ask you about a fellow paladin. Ah, uh, well, uh, which one? <sighs> Tell him. I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> Recall, ask Persephone. Persephone spoke with her. Persephone's getting helicated. Oh, that's true. Um, I can talk. Uh, no one's local. He he. I don't think I'm in a medically induced coma here. Yeah, but you're in a different room. <laughs> yeah, he's you not. Put, you put yourself in a different room. <laughs> I guess you know, I'm it's kind of hard not to be in a different room when you're not on the map. I'm on the map. Why Whoa. is there a lot of the environment? <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that too. Um, That's not mine. <laughs> well, then it's Aaron's. Um, it's a grim reminder of the wait. shame of living in cages. Uh, I. He looks like he should be firing his laser. <laughs> uh, 
I, I say, I do not know his name, unfortunately. He only interacted with another of my party. However, he seemed to be good friends with a particular bird. The name of which is... <laughs> T Tim, I would have I known the bird's name. Yeah. The name of which is... Roll an intelligence check. <laughs> Oh, no, after Nevermore, I really shouldn't be surprised by this. Tim. <laughs> Tim, why? I got this. I'll draw a bird. Because if you're not going to take notes on this, I'm going to make you roll to remember it. 13. Ruts. Ruts. That's right. <clears throat> I don't have any good things to write on. All of my stuff are taken up with yuck stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a bird by no, the name I'm of Ruts. That Dominic's not here, so he can't rant at us about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ruts, you say, was a bird? Correct. Talking crow. It was a raven. No, it was a it was a white raven. Fortunately, oh, white raven. Yeah, yeah, I know the guy you're talking about. <clears throat> uh, that would be Sir. <laughs> That's a second ago. The DM needs to recall the fact that he doesn't even remember either. <laughs> I, I I would I like to vote that Tim does an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Winston Dalther. There we are. Sir Winston Dalther. Quite the yes, name. I uh, believe he was sent out to patrol the Wilderlands for the goblins. He won't be back for several days. Did he uh, happen to leave some um, platinum platinum behind for us as he promised us uh, some additional payment? Okay, time out for a second here. Um, he did actually give you guys all the payment that he said he would. Or specifically, he gave Aaron all the payment that he said he would. So if Wait, the rest hasn't made it into your hands, then that's not his fault. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we have all, all we have our share. Okay. Um, but what I heard from him, what what I remember you from didn't the other hear day, anything from him. What I remember you heard from Aaron, you didn't see anything. <laughs> What I remember from the conversation as a player the other day, since that's how we're talking right now, um, is, is that uh, he asked for partial payment up front, and we were given 10 platinum. Um, I don't remember partial payment up front. He paid in full. I did not specify that the payment up front need to be partial. Okay. Okay. However, this guy doesn't know that. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. <laughs> and he also doesn't know about any deposits of platinum that were left for you. Oh, drat. <sighs> oh, well. Very well, then. Uh, I, I go to meet up with Mike, then. <laughs> right. Have a good day, sir. May you walk in the light of Theron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't get it. Okay, any... so you go to find uh, Persephone and Pupper? Uh, no, I want to find Mike. Mike, okay. Um, follow the tavern songs. <laughs> well... I mean, well, wait, I need to do a performance it, it, it's check. Not, it's, it's not very hard for me to find out where the bar is. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I roll for a performance check to check my singing. Okay. Ten. <laughs> um, nobody's ears are bleeding. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> I uh, enter the tavern... Uh, how many drinks have been consumed at this point? Tim, 
How uh, much would 49 gold get me for drinks? It hasn't been that long. Remember that. <laughs> then he died due to explosion from violating also, the public. You only principle. have 49 gold? <laughs> no, I just don't want to spend all of it in one place. Oh. Saving it for the other bars. <laughs> <laughs> and food. Something's going to absorb all of this alcohol. Okay, I'm actually looking for pricing on these things. <laughs> uh, Can I buy a keg with 48 gold? I actually... Um, almost certainly. Can you buy two kegs with 48 gold? It's uh, goods and services is what it is, Tim. And then it's... Um, <clears throat> Trade goods, furniture, trade goods, and vehicles, and then it's. I've got mead by the gallon. Listen here. How many? How much mead can spend to a was. keg? Hmm. <clears throat> uh, what do you got for mead by the gallon? Two gold pieces per eight pounds. Okay, so the answer to your question is yes. Okay. <laughs> Was it technically enough to buy? 48 gold will buy you more booze than you are capable of carrying. <laughs> what? Was it enough to buy two kegs worth? <laughs> what, what if it's more gold? Wait, wait, let me. I can more just gold than do the what? Um, oh, Dominic's old character could carry the Crypt Crusader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said it was two gold per gallon. Let's see. I can I can do the math. Let's see. A keg holds fifteen gallons, or no, half a barrel contains fifteen gallons, which is one hundred twenty-four pints. So if it's a full-size keg, it's thirteen point two. You're a human, so, right? I don't think that math is right. That's what the ke that's what the Belmont station is telling me. Mike Mike is a human, right? A full size keg is fifty liters. I've got a uh, fifteen point five U.S. gallons. That's for a half so a barrel. It's... That's not the same thing as a keg. It's not. Like it. Is a bar no a barrel might be a U.S. measurement while a keg is a, a European one. No, they're both U.S. measurements, but a barrel is twice the size of a keg. Wow. <clears throat> so basically, what you're asking is, can you buy a barrel of mead? No, two kegs. If I buy two barrels, I won't be able to carry it all. What I said was, what you're asking is if you want to buy a barrel oh, of meat. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, then yeah, I'm buying a barrel of meat. Okay. You said um, two gold per gallon? Uh, yeah, two, pull, two gold per gallon. Okay. Well, you can't actually afford a barrel, but you can afford a keg. <laughs> Fine, I'll stick with just a keg then. Okay, one keg is 31 gold. All right, I how will many, deduct it from my gold. How many liters is that? Uh, give me a sec to run the conversion. That is close to 60 liters. Mike, how much have you drunk? Percentage. One. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what percentage of that one have you drunk? One percent. <laughs> if math is right, one. <laughs> Wait, are we seriously asking a guy who drunk off of his ass to uh, do math? So, uh... <laughs> No, you aren't. <laughs> the The stomach can expand 10%. to hold up to four liters 
<laughs> of stuff. <laughs> That's the maximum. Yeah, but remember, he has a curse on him. <laughs> a curse of having a larger stomach? No. Well, no, the curse actually just makes him drunk all the time anyway. <laughs> I don't think that affects his stomach capacity. No, but it does affect his math capacity. <laughs> so, Tim, how much has Mike consumed at this point? Uh, performance check. <laughs> actually, constitution check. Constitution check. Okay. I gotta check my constitution. When in the course oh. of human events oh. becomes necessary. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's twenty one. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so uh you have consumed we'll say three quarters of a liter. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I still got most of that keg left. Oh yeah. How many ounces oh, is yeah. that? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see. Three quarters of a liter is well below the stomach max. Um, Wait, did you just use a calculator to find out if three quarters was less than four? No, I didn't. Pierre's using a calculator oh. to find the answer to your stupid question. <laughs> no, I'm doing other math. I'm, deb I'm debating whether or not I can carry this keg. <laughs> All right, I'll look at how much a wagon is. <laughs> so I like how we started out doing uh, Pathfinder, and now we're all just doing volumetric calculations. <laughs> so, <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> a light wagon can carry up to 1,000 pounds of cargo. A keg is only 161 pounds. Okay, so a light wagon would be sufficient. <clears throat> Correct, Tim. Yeah, that'd be more than enough. Uh, all right. How does strength score? How much calculate? does that cost? That costs. Is that my bonus. Fifty gold. All right. I I walk in. I'm presuming that I'm seeing Mike standing there chugging. <laughs> yeah. Just, just like flagging down into the top of the keg and just. Not even going for the tap. <laughs> He's popped the literal top off of the keg and is just reaching in and pulling it. <laughs> yeah, sounds legit. Alright, no, 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 stop, Mike, stop. You're, ah. ruin you're ruining the beer. <laughs> or mead, I guess. It's mead, isn't it? Yeah, we went with yeah, mead. mead. You're ruining the mead. We can save that and have more later. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Easy for uh. you to say. Um. All right. How about this? I spend the fifty gold to buy a wagon to transport your poor decisions. Ah! Uh, I hand and I get to have some. I hand Eugene, a hundred gold. <laughs> Okay, so ah! you're giving me 50 gold and a wagon. <laughs> no, I hand Wait, 75 Peter, did gold you just back. Did you say you hand him 100 gold? He did. I hand him 100 gold and then make him hand motion towards myself as well as the keg. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you only have 48 gold a minute ago? No, no, he no, has I more. He, just didn't, he, was, he was unwilling <laughs> to use it. Yes, ah. I've been... I've been keeping hold of any excess gold. <laughs> I haven't used. <clears throat> Currently, I have 2,117 gold left. So, a uh, question. How is this uh -huh. cart going to move? Uh, I have a horse. Okay. <laughs> is that a fair answer? I think we should get two donkeys. Or a light cart, yeah. And have them both pull it. Yeah, I, I was looking at that, <clears throat> Tim. <laughs> I'm currently in goods and services wagon, light wagon. 
carries up to a thousand pounds of cargo and requires two medium or one large creature to pull it. A horse, even a small horse, is categorized as a large creature. Okay. So. Now, can it h- handle the keg at an additional 263 pounds? Well, yes. It okay. carries up to a thousand pounds of cargo. Okay. Then I should have an easy time fumbling into it. <laughs> So, in that case, Tim, I take 25 of the gold that uh, uh, Mike gives me, and I tuck the other 75 onto his body, where he hopefully won't use it to buy alcohol. And I go, I, I tell the, I give the bartender two platinum to uh, not sell Mike any more alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and I go in search of um Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna if she's gonna take that deal considering that she could stand to make more than two platinum off the alcohol Mike would buy. <laughs> yeah, um so you just gave her twenty gold and he has spent fifty something so far. <clears throat> gold on mead. How about this? So, Mike, <clears throat> do you feel like outspending him? Here's here's what I'm doing. I'm yes, not done yet. I'm not done yet. War. I tell her. Tim, I'm gonna make an acrobatics. Here's roll two to platinum. See if I'm still standing. Do you want to give me a penalty for the extra drinking? That would probably be a dexterity check. Oh, a dexterity check. Okay. Right, Tim. Let's see. I didn't hear what he was saying because you both talked at the same time. He's trying to figure out whether or not he's still standing, and he was wondering whether it was uh, an acrobatics test. And I said it was probably dexterity. I. I'd say that's Constitution again. Okay. Constitution? <laughs> okay. Do you want to penalize me for the drinking I've already done, or...? Uh, I, Tim's... yes, but I've already got the penalty in front of me. Yeah, so. t- Tim's okay. already handling that on his side. <laughs> okay. 17. 17. Um... You can stand as long as you don't try to move your legs. <laughs> I let Jonathan win. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Fear, out of fear of hitting my head on the floor. Anyways, I what think I was the floor would lose. What I was saying is, uh, instead of what I said, here's five gold. If you don't sell anything to Mike, I'll make it worth your while when I come back. Okay, she and then I leave. Gives you a slightly funny look, wondering how much you're willing to spend if he's already spent five plat, but she doesn't say anything to contradict you, so. All right, and uh, then I go and find a... um, um, Wagon. Tim, is there a wagoner in this uh, town? This capital city of of this land? Uh, Yes, there is. Uh, Give me knowledge local. Uh, Okay. Um, Well, actually, no. You're from here. You'd know where it is. I'm not from here. Um, I'll be honest. You you were a um, crier for the king. That was a tip job, dude. here. That was a temp okay, job for a week. Okay, if you insist, then give me a knowledge local check. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. 22. <clears throat> All right, you find the wagoner. Yay. <clears throat> um, All right, so I go to the wagoner and... Uh, Go in and say, I would like to buy a light wagon. A light wagon. This is a light wagon. <clears throat> Does he like gesture in the air and like <laughs> there's there's nothing there? It's like, it's made out of light. <laughs> that was it's actually a... a reference to something different, but sure. <laughs> Uh, I'm so he's got a light wagon ready. Yeah, wait, he's got a light wagon. Am ready? I with Eugene? No, you're still at the oh. bar. 
Dude, you oh. can't move. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, he can, he just shouldn't. <laughs> no, Tim, don't give him ideas. He can't. I sit down <laughs> in a chair. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> roll me a dexterity check. <laughs> there we go. 19. Dad, All right. You sit down, and it's even where the chair was. <laughs> I'm doing real well for a drunkard. <laughs> you really are. I've seen just, people just... way uncoorder- more uncoordinated than you who are less drunk. <laughs> it just shows how many years of drinking has just... I've hardened to it. I'm aware of how it affects me. I mean, you're also perpetually drunk, so... Yes. Did you get anything from that? Or did you just take the curse? <laughs> <laughs> uh technically it gives me a boon for strength dexterity and constitution but uh it gives me a bane for intelligence wisdom and charisma okay okay that's fine yeah that's kind of the reason why my dexterity rolls have been so good yeah and your con rolls uh so i uh get the wagon All right, what dost thou do with yon wagon? I hitch it to my horse. And? Then I go back to the bar. (laughs) Okay, so you return to the bar. Uh, Mike is no longer standing, but he's also not in a puddle on the floor, so that's progress, maybe? (laughs) (laughs) Uh... And then I had the hand the bartender uh, four platinum. Uh, well, actually, I asked her first. Uh, <clears throat> did he try and buy anything more? I'm not sure he even remembers he's at a bar right now. That's fair. <laughs> well, thank you anyways. And I hand her four platinum. And then I begin getting Eugene and the... Uh... Persephone? No, the keg. Oh out of the uh oh, okay. bar. actually you know what screw it uh i give her uh five more platinum thanks for putting up with him much appreciated she's just gotten paid like ridiculously well and uh then we go to pick up persephone and pepper Okay. I should write down that I have a wagon now. <laughs> Alright, so you pick up Persephone and Pupper and the staff, which has had one charge put back onto it. Yay. Is it the next day? Can we just say it's the next day? <laughs> uh, Sure, we'll say it's the next day. Yay. <laughs> uh... Actually, I, I guess... assume everyone's done their normal stuff, meditating and prepping spells and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, do you naturally regain HP at the end of each day? Um. Oh, mine's full anyways. It's a good... Yeah. That's a good question. Uh, there's... <laughs> There's a bit of a system to it. It's usually more effective to have someone heal you up at the end of the day, and then all their spells recharge. Yeah. Actually, Ooh. healing HP is a lot slower. Uh, all right, well, um, so if you can... The, for the purposes can... of this campaign, unless Dominic actually runs out of spells for the day, we'll assume that he heals everyone up to full before you go to bed for the night. Yeah. Uh, can you And also... then he gets all his spells back the next morning. Yeah. Can you... Um boost his health back to maximum i don't think it is on his character you can do it hey tori uh well um we bought a wagon and mike got more drunk and uh we've got a keg of mead and everyone's healed up including pupper (laughs) serious in the love hotel (laughs) You just noticed that was like <laughs> ten minutes ago. No, I've been uh, I've been storying. 
Hey Tim, mm -hmm. can can we say that uh, since Cirrus is probably busy at night, she doesn't get a lot of sleep. So when Dominic isn't here and we're doing stuff, essentially we tie Cirrus up and throw her in the back of the wagon because that's the way she gets the most comfortable. <laughs> it's how she sleeps. We, we make sure to fill the wagon with some hay so that she can roll in the hay. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, but yeah, she can't roll because she's in a full gimp suit. <laughs> you can still roll in those. Not when it she's completely takes long. tied. <laughs> yeah, it just takes longer. Uh, and if you're questioning oh. whether or not uh, there are the requisite ropes and stuff, just look at, at Dominic's character. <laughs> Yep. Just just so, look at uh, the So, Pierre, what has. was that one for? Uh, that was accidental. I accidentally pressed a die. <laughs> sure it was. <laughs> well, it was a D8. It's not like there's much I can do with a D8. <clears throat> can I do a sense motive on Pierre? <laughs> sure, go ahead. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, you have no points in sense motive? Wait, wait, I, I haven't checked my character sheet yet. <laughs> Hang on. That's kind of an important step. <clears throat> uh, so, also, last week I realized after the end of the campaign that I've been using the wrong character sheet for the last two weeks. Awesome. Good job. Fortunately, my stats were all about the same because I ended <laughs> up changing it. And, yeah, so now my character sheet from the previous campaign is ruined. Awesome. Yay. Anyway, we were, uh, let's see. What sense motive? Uh, it's a two. <laughs> 19. Okay, so, um. You're not sure about what's going on with Pierre. Um. You don't think he's actively you lying sure? to you, but you <laughs> you don't think he's actively lying to you, but you don't know if he's told you everything. <laughs> uh... To be fair, I haven't said much to begin with. I'm too drunk. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Very good. All right, so what were we doing beforehand? Oh, yeah, so we were heading out to... The Goblin Town to cut, hunt down the ba paladin that owes us platinum? No, no, we're not going to go that way. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that alone. Um... Wait, right, doesn't he owe us information about the immovable rock quest? No, not that dude. Different dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, okay. you don't have the immovable rods anymore anyway. Yeah. No, but there was a quest for some missing immovable rods. Were there, yes. Was there not? And now they're still missing. I don't think <laughs> anyone here knows about that quest. Oh, fair. All right. Those rods right. are currently running through the woods screaming, Do you know Dovamaran? Oh, it's those rods. You were trying to get them out of our inventory. <laughs> you just figured that out. No, I've had a feeling it was that case for a while. You just confirmed it, though. See, here's, here's the thing, though, Tim, is that because it was a poisoned trap, um... If we had returned those How rods, would you poison a trap. Traps are we would have poisoned a paladin. Then uh, <laughs> traps are beautiful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, different sort of trap. Uh, then we would have um, had a completely different quest on our hands. Because it was a city guards thing, but then he's also on the bad guy's side because he's got this poisoned trap and. Um. 
I'm not sure where you're going with this. Is that you wouldn't have gotten them out of our inventory. We would have handed them over and been like, are these the ones? And they'd be like, yes, exactly. And then we'd be like, yeah, you're going to jail. Uh, Still missing something. Anyway. Those rods have been missing for weeks. L let's get back oh, to... Oh, yeah, I guess. All right, so... Yeah, where are we going? We're, we're going... To the map. find the... Wait. Okay, enough money Python Um, You're going towards the quest-worthy mountains. That's where we're going? That's where you were going. I don't know where you're going now. Is that towards West Haven? <clears throat> My map. <laughs> it's on stream right now. <laughs> Um, yes, you were heading towards West Haven. Uh, enjoy your food, Tori. Okay, so, yes. Whoa! Thank you so much, Tori. <laughs> did you ever Someone get the donate? cup? Uh, no, I did not do the cup. Ooh. Missed opportunity. I mean, that would have shown up as a single bit. We, we have to talk about the cup, because, like, where would the cup go? Because the cup's always on screen. Mm. That's the thing, is that the cup is always on screen. So that means that we have to set aside a place to always have the cup be on screen. We can have this discussion later. Indeed! Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> all word! Dang it, Persephone. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? Persephone has been putting herself on top <laughs> of other characters <laughs> very frustratingly. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> Excellent! Well done, Mike. <laughs> Aaron? When I said that you got back to town unmolested, Whoa. that was not a challenge. <laughs> 350. I'm just here to read the articles. <laughs> Whee! Whoa! Wow. That is a lot of bits. Yeah. Well, I want my new badge, so... Is a badge? Ooh. No, I don't have the new badge. Ah. Bah. All right. So it should be right. It just hadn't done it yet. Yes! New badge! <laughs> I have ascended. <clears throat> Is this a challenge? No, it's um, not a challenge. Yeah, no, you get uh, you get a new badge if you uh, do enough bits. Yeah, so like I feel if, like this is a challenge. If I do nine hundred more bits, then I'll get to the next badge. But I don't think I'm gonna do any more until uh, Dominic's here, so that I can frustrate him. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Tori. Uh, Tim, that's not how that works. I know. Um, I hit the caps lock key instead of the shift key. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, I think you actually can do... Uh... Here we go. How about this? Do Whoa. I win now? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, yes, I think you do. <laughs> yeah, I should say, yeah, it, it puts your message on screen as well. So, like, <clears throat> I can say cheer 55 all the bits, and it'll actually put that on screen. Yeah. 
I've not unlocked the 1000 for our channel before, for any channel before. I've unlocked some of the other ones, but never the 1000. Oh, oh Tori, now I'm really hungry. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> okay, so we're going to West Haven, Tim. Yes. Because <clears throat> I think that's where we're supposed to go. Maybe. Sorry, had to make that joke. So yeah, on to West Haven-ish. So, you uh, oh, no, leave the town, no. go on your merry way. Bad, yes. Um, yeah, sure. All right. Okay, there we go. You strike out for the mountains. The road winds higher through the foothills, and after a day, you have reached the beginning of the pass. So yeah, you're fully healed by now. If there's Yay. any question before, there's not now. At the edge of a thick forest, a sign catches your eye. Actually, I do have a question, East Tim. East Haven Village. Yeah. Um, so, Pupper's negative level has gone away. But Correct. has his constitution damage go away? gone away? Uh, yes. Yes, it has. Awesome. For now. Alright. So where are we now? Very good. Um, apparently in are the- Are we in the mountains? Uh, I'm, I'm sure Tim actually has a, a thing for us. And you can continue, um... Tim. I was just checking this. Um, so restoration uh, takes care of negative levels and cures all temporary ability damage. Yay. Also, what was the name of that town from before? Which one? Uh, East Haven. The one you were just in. Uh, the no, one you White were just Tower. in was White Tower. Yeah. All uh, right, because they're named after the what was it burgers? That's White Castle. Close enough. <laughs> Man, I just love those West Haven burgers. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mud hollow. Okay, right, and so anyway. we're going... Uh... At the edge All of right. a thick forest, a sign catches your eye. East Haven Village, north. Mud hollow, west. West Haven Village, wester. Beware the goblins. <laughs> A few miles out, and you come across a terrible scene. We didn't see which woman. way we were going, Tim. You gave us a fork in the road. You, you said gotta... you were going towards West Haven. <laughs> but you gave us a fork in the road. <laughs> we turn around and go back. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we decided this town is not for us, and just turn back around. They're like, oh, we got this far. That's pretty good. It's better than the last crew. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's okay, go back do you and turn everyone... around before or after the words terrible scene exit my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Who's guiding us? <laughs> you. My character? I think that's up to you guys. You're guiding. Mike is at the front of the party. I'm guiding? Yep. Um... Back to the wagon somehow. I use knowledge geography to know that I'm going towards West Haven. He's not still in the wagon. It's been several days, hasn't it? Uh, one day. He's not. That's enough to sober enough. Yeah, he's, he's also not... he still has that barrel. Yeah, but I'm here now. I can tell him no. <laughs> but will he listen? Yes. So anyway, uh, so geography. Mike's out in front. What does Mike? Thirty-two. Do? I choose the fastest way to West Haven, knowing my knowledge of geo of the local geography. I tell him no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> unless it happens to be the road we're walking on. It does happen to be the road you're walking on. Very good. Damn. <laughs> do you want me to break out the wilderness rules? <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody wants you to Apparently break out the wilderness not. rules. I go back to being passed out in the cart. 
I okay. do have some of the best knowledges stats. I think Jonathan might dispute that. Yeah. I've got geography at 14, local at 12, and nobility at 11. Okay. Uh, and the... I can trade my diploma. Hmm? I know every single knowledge. Literally every single knowledge. Every single one of them. They don't even all fit on the skill sheet. And uh, 10 is degree. the minimum score for ah. any of them. And uh, wow. 19 is the maximum. So. Wow. I'm a skill master. <laughs> I see that. It's all you do. <laughs> <laughs> all the same, I'm passed out back into the cart. <laughs> Attempting to continue to sober up as I'm sneaking drinks. <laughs> okay, so he is no longer leading the party. No, we're still leading the party. I just said we're following the road. <laughs> you are he is not no longer front. out in front of the party. Dominic, oh. Dominic is out in front. Still in the gimp suit? Oh, that's fair. Dang it. I guess that means I am. Uh... You could just wake me up. Wake, Wake me, me up! up Wake me! Up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We we put him out in front. Okay. <clears throat> Begrudgingly. Okay, so you're out in front when you get to the fork in the road. Where's the fork in the road? I'm not familiar with the fork in the road. Hey, Aaron drew this map poorly. <laughs> Yeah, I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> we go right. <laughs> yes, we go right. <laughs> Back to this way. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Aaron, you know there's actually a map in your notes, right? Uh, yes. I, I just don't want to look at it. Hang on. Yeah, okay, it's pretty so good, all things considered. What what actually happens is we go left towards West Haven. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Happy? I got this. I got this. Tim, Tim, we're we're taking the the West Haven route. Okay. <laughs> uh, that still doesn't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> if you switched to the Remember, east kids, and the west, then it would be right. Never psi five <laughs> M's. <laughs> um, so yes, we, we are Nobody going towards West Haven. Okay. No, wait, nobody enjoys Soviet Womble. Wait, there's no fork on, on your map. Oh, wait, yes, there is. It goes to East Haven. Yeah, there's there's not the fork that he's talking about. However, we are continuing on to West Haven, Tim. Yes. Does that answer your question? Okay. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, then let's wait, carry on. if I put the fork here... There we are. A few miles out, you come across a terrible scene. A tearful woman and her two young sons crouch in front of the far side of a wagon, while seven goblins advance from the tree line. Do I see figure... that? <laughs> I roll for perception. Okay. Uh, Tim, would it, would it be an appraise check to see if she's hot? 19. <laughs> Only if you're planning to sell her. Wait, a, a, a terrible woman and what? So that's an appraise check then, Tim, right? <laughs> we have a wagon that holds up to a, to a thousand pounds. We can put people in it. Human trafficking is not beyond us. This is not a good stream Okay, I just anymore. need to check whether if you have any non-evil alignments. <laughs> I, I have good. So I can't actually do that. I'm not I'm lawful, neutral good as but... 
No, I'm pretty sure intending to sell someone into slavery falls under evil, not yeah. chaotic. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, is it a lesser evil to put her into slavery than to be killed off by goblins? Lesser evil, yes. Still evil. Damn it! <laughs> what if we add negative evil? Tim, what if he's so drunk that he doesn't understand that? <laughs> I don't think the magistrate cares. <laughs> He's not selling them to a place that has a magistrate. <laughs> That's just dumb, Tim. Come on, think about these things. So, Tim, do I see what's going on around in the town? It's not a town. Uh, there's not there's, the there's town just yet. a wagon. There's a wagon with a woman and two kids. Oh, there's two of them. Ah. Oh. I, I mean, I, I, I was asking, but uh. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah, am I the one that's around. passed out on the ground? Uh, no. Hold on. So there's a woman and three kids. Is that horse alive? Uh. <laughs> it's a woman and two kids. You guys didn't let me finish reading the description. Uh, okay. But is she hot? I just wanted to know if I actually saw it. <laughs> See what's going on? Yeah, we just walked yes, right past. Yes, you actually saw it. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing so well at my rolls tonight. I, I still like the idea that we we just walk right past. <laughs> Like we we don't even see them. We just keep walking. <laughs> There's like 50 quests in this game, but we don't do any of them just because we don't <laughs> hit our perception checks <laughs> to notice those quests. Aaron, did you delete yourself again? Actually, I don't see anybody on this map. I'm I'm looking back on the repository of doodly wisdom. Uh, no, he's just underneath, uh, Dominic. I think. I moved Dominic, he's not there. Maybe I'm under Jonathan? I know he's not under Mike. Uh, let's see, because I can move just me and... Yeah, he's he's not there. Um... I think I just dropped someone off the edge of the map. <laughs> Damn it, Tim! Wait, no, that you you uh, killed Steve. I think we're. <laughs> I don't know. Where are we, Tim? I know I'm leading. You it's are right. starting over here. Oh. Where's Where's here? Ping. I didn't see a ping. Oh, there. Where are we currently? Oh, right there? Right beside the wagon? A uh, good 50 feet from it, but yeah. Okay, sorry. So many people are pinging that... To be fair, pinging is fun. <clears throat> I also can't hear the pings. So we untie Cirrus and make her do all the work while we run away. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I jest, of course. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying earlier, a fourth figure lays across the ground, his head resting in his son's lap. Two arrows sprout from his chest. The other boy tries to steady a panicking mule. The mule has an arrow in its flank and pulls at its reins. The mother frantically oh, reloads a cr light crossbow, keeping the goblins at range for now, but four of the creatures advance on the family, trusting their shields. <clears throat> Alright, so this is what we need to do. I'm going to run across to the, uh, the wagon and see what I can do with healing and calming the animal, because we don't want to call that mule to uh, hurt them uh, further, because, you know, mules can be pretty deadly with their hooves. So, Persephone. Um, in the meantime, Mike, you take care of the rest. You're a you're a strategist, right? Yes. Okay. Sound good? 
Yes. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Um, where's... I had an Inish... Oh, oh, there, there. Initiative. Um, here. I... And Pupper's going to run <laughs> right here, Tim. <laughs> Good. Wait, do we need to roll for initiative? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. What's initiative again? Just a d20. D20 plus anything that would give you a bonus to initiative, which if you don't have improved initiative, you don't have. Oh, uh, so I wouldn't it would have anything. just be, yeah. Unless you, the, the rule is essentially. Damn it! <laughs> unless you have uh, improved initiative, you do time. not um, have anything to add to it. Correct, Tim? If I had gotten a higher initiative, I would have been able to be useful. I'm not gonna just play in post. Ugh. And the one time I get a bad roll. roll. Um. 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 Does You're Pepper... gonna ask something, Aaron? Pepper nope. doesn't need to roll. Just a heads up. Pupper's gone. Okay, I'm, Pupper's I'm putting gone. Pupper's in the corner because I don't want to delete him from the map, but Wait, Pupper's hang, run hang away. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I stand here and check for traps. <laughs> okay, roll perception. I mean, it's pointless because Pupper isn't actually there. Pupper's just there because Pupper's not on the map. I think that's what it okay. was. Okay, um... Oh wait, Peter, no, plus you rolled a five for your for your uh, initiative. Here. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your dexterity? Uh, my dexterity bonus. Yeah. Oh wait, and I also get a plus uh, five. I think to check for traps. So that makes twenty six. <laughs> I'm glad Aaron's wasting time on this. Okay, um, Aaron, you find no traps. Not even Cirrus? <laughs> I don't think Cirrus, Cirrus is not a, a trap. trap. Cirrus makes no secret about what gender she is. I mean, have you seen her? She's very clearly a her. <laughs> her outfit that would just leaves her, no the, room uh, for uh, imagination. Uh, High-level trap. All right, so, Pierre, what's your yeah. next turn? Two. Okay, so your initiative is seven. Oh, okay. Still shitty. Okay, uh, Aaron, what was your initiative? He rolled a 14. 14. Okay, what's your dexterity? A three. Your initiative is 17. Oh, so you are supposed to add your dexterity. Yes, you are. Okay. Mine's already calculated. Okay. I used the button that Dominic gave me. Push the button. It's a muffin button. Muffin button? <laughs> what is a muffin button? <laughs> That's not even a thing. <sighs> Yeah. All right. Well, oh God, I'm gonna die. Yeah. <clears throat> Tim, you should go through and tokenize all of the uh, creatures, so that uh, hey, Tori sings is back. So that what? So, so that, that we can't tell their size. Back. That's right. You should do it so that Tori sings his back. <sighs> it's easier to tell where things are when it's like that. Especially Tori. Yeah, especially Tori. I'm going to get some chips. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh... 
actually. He goes first, doesn't anyway, he? Anyway, um, these are goblins. It's fairly obvious what size they are. Yeah, but like on the background, it's it's kind of weird to pick them out and stuff. Uh, give me a sec with that. But it's okay. Uh, what did you miss? Um, well, we argued a bunch. Oh, that's better. Tim, always have this. <laughs> Tim, always. Um, uh, now we're fighting goblins. Little, little gobbles. And... They scream curses at you in gobbledygook. Is that the actual name of the language in this game? I think that's the actual name of the language in this game. Okay. I, I know that's the actual name of the goblin's language, but... Uh, I wasn't sure whether it was true for this game as well. I don't think it's in the bestiary, but it is mentioned in uh, Rise of the Runes, which is a Paizo published thing, so. I'm calling it canon. Yeah, it's not in the, uh, the bestiary at all. Uh, all right. So, Tim. As soon as someone has chips, we can begin. <sighs> Can't you just kill them real early like you did last time? <laughs> <laughs> then we won't have yeah, to worry about this. Know. So, Tim, am I going to want to use um, Wild Empathy or just Handle Animal for the, uh, the horse? Did anyone move yet? No, we were waiting for you. Oh, I, I don't go first. That's why I ran off. You do go first out of the players. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. But two other... I meant anyone at all. Anyway, um... Yeah, I would say Wild Empathy would probably be good. Okay. Because it's not quite an, a wild animal, though. Uh... But okay, if that's well, your call. Wild empathy, because it works on wild animals too. Handle animal typically only works on domestic. Okay. Uh, okay. It actually uh, explains this in the... Um... It's okay, Tori. Uh, I am John. Tim, can you say your I'm name? I'm Tim. Can you do it again when I'm not I'm talking? Here. I am a dungeon master, and also Tim. I heard, oh, my name is Pierre. Aaron. And I'm Aaron. There you go. We are the peoples. Yep. And Dominic isn't here. <clears throat> Dominic. Dominic. Okay, um, so. Oh, did the NPCs go yet? Uh, no, they have not gone yet. They're about to. The NPCs are measuring. Okay, so Archer 2 takes a, a um, shot at the woman. Um, well, that is a clear miss. <laughs> that didn't work. Shot doesn't even hit the cart. It just goes sailing off into the distance. It might have gone into orbit. We're not sure. <laughs> wow. That's an impressive miss. Was that a one? It was a three. Still bad. Yeah. Uh, 
Considering he didn't die, I have doubts it was a one. Okay, Warrior 1 moves up to the cart, but doesn't quite make it to where he can attack yet. Now it's Persephone's turn. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm doing... Why are all of these 60 feet? Whatever. Um... That's not you. I'm not the one doing that. I was doing oh, that. Okay. I'm calculating. Uh, I, um... Wait, I've got a stealth bonus. Um, let me, let me see. Um, okay. Um, can anyone see me? Uh, they're not yet aware of you. No, their attention is focused on the wagon. All right, cool. Um, my move is what? 30? 30, okay. I'm so glad the Crepe Crusader isn't here. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Can they see me? No, they're not aware that you are there. I begin yelling at the top of my lungs, informing them that we are here. <laughs> okay, I, I presume that this warrior dude is obstructed by the cart and these people. Uh, you right? assume correctly. All right, I'm going to not take that shot. Are you going to take a different shot? But I do ready my crossbow in case of needing to take a different shot. Aaron, there are six others that you have a clear shot at. Oh, wait. Yeah, I am in range of this guy. All right. I'll, um, yes, I'll attack <clears throat> number three. Also, um, uh, the, the range increment doesn't mean you can't hit anything outside of that range. It means you take an accuracy penalty. No, no, yeah, no, no. I get a plus one to hit within thirty feet, so thirty-one feet, and I don't get the plus one. Yeah. All right, so I'm I'm gonna whip that out and attempt to attack that guy. Whip it out. Oh, whip it one minute while I whip this out into shape, real straight. Do, All right, do, 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 um, this do, is do, a do, plus do, do, do. one. I also use my dex modifier, which should be a three. I don't know why that's a two in the box there, because it's definitely supposed to be more than two. Should be four, I think. And is it a surprise attack? Uh, we'll say yes for this first one. All right, cool. Now watch me roll a two. That's oh, double actually, twos. <laughs> that's a pretty good roll. Yeah, yeah, it is. 18 plus 4, that means you score. Does my surprise attack hit? It does, in fact. Roll damage. <clears throat> All right. Does it count as a sneak And don't forget attack? the sneak attack. Does that include the sneak attack damage? Oh no, that is the sneak attack damage. There's more coming. Okay. The regular damage is 1d8. Plus 1, I think, because it's a plus 1. I need to go over this character sheet again. Uh, do you have a feat that gives you a uh, damage bonus? Oh yeah, bonus? And, plus one to, uh, and plus 1 for that, because I'm within 30 feet. So 26 okay, damage. So 26 damage. Yeah. That's not right. Why? Why are there particle effects? <laughs> because pro okay. subscription. My dex plus the plus one plus the plus one for the... Whatever. I hit anyway, but my roll to hit was actually supposed to be 23. There's too much math in this game. Well, um... You did a good job. You blew Yay. it. it no, nope, that's not right. Did you delete the wrong person? No, you didn't delete anyone. You blew his head off. He did. Ugh. 
Did he oh, survive? The, the script was more intelligent than I gave it credit for. I typed in minus five, and it actually subtracted five instead of setting his HP to minus five. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Okay, well, I'll be right back, because I did not finish getting snacks. Okay. He's going to okay. die, isn't he? Yeah, he's probably going to die. <laughs> hey, Aaron, roll to dodge. Aaron. <laughs> And they see you now. Uh. <laughs> it's okay. Warrior 2 can't hit you. Unless they've got, like, Archer a three can. Both well outside 30 feet, so, uh, you know. Assuming be... that the random number generator doesn't frown upon me today. It would I be nice be okay. if Archers 1, 2, and 3 had names. They don't? Nope. Warriors 1 through 4 have names. But Archers 1, 2, and 3... Oh, Archer 1 has a name. Uh, gotta set the permissions Archer for Archer 2 has a name. One. And Archer 3 has a name. Yeah, so yeah. Archer 3 is taking a pot shot at Persephone. Uh, Persephone, what's your racing? Hang on. Uh... AC, um, oh, 18. Yes, that is much better than it was before when I was using the wrong character sheet. Much better, but not quite good enough. Wait, is Second this an attack of opportunity? No, it's not. Dang it. Wait, <clears throat> can I dodge? No. Say, wait, armor is full. Oh, no, I don't, never mind, that's already in there. How much damage is he taking? Wow, Aaron, you took a whopping four damage. If it's more than 62, I swear. <laughs> four. What? It's not a bullet. Total. Let me, let me let me put in some math here. Oh, oops. Two minus four. That is that indeed less sense. than 62. All right. Warrior two. Aaron, go. Quickly. Me? Yeah, to get snacks. Oh, yeah, it's not like that warrior's gonna reach you in this time. You have to be back before our Archer 1. Yeah. Who would be firing through several units, so... Yeah, Persephone was a cool right. uh, character. Is Warrior Eugene, 2 attacking the horse? <laughs> Or just running up to the horse. You know, originally it wasn't going to attack the horse, but goblins actually have a well-documented hatred of horses, so... Thanks for mentioning that. You're welcome, but you already said it was my turn. <laughs> Next turn, you're welcome to use that. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty sure as a human I've got a movement of 30. So that's yep. there. That's... There and uh, I throw my quarter <laughs> Okay. I don't. That would be so dumb. Uh. Hmm. I need to look something up real quick to make sure I did this right. Uh, what have you done? Um, you don't want to know. Is it spiders again? It's spiders again. I, I found one. I didn't want to know. Pissed. Ah. Uh, I found one of the creepiest uh, magics in um, Pathfinder, which is Whip of Spiders, <laughs> where you create a whip. That sounds like something for Dominic. Of spiders. <laughs> um, 
so it's not a great it idea. It doesn't compare with the spell combo that Tom came up with. What spell combo did Tom come up with? Uh, Aboleth's Lung, which makes it so you can only breathe underwater. You can't breathe air. And Hydrophobia. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Is this within range of attacking the horse, or is it in front of the cart? It's hard to tell, Tim. Um... What, Warrior 2 or Warrior 4? Uh, let me ping. This square. Okay. What was the question? Is in that in, in front of the horse or the carriage? Uh, we'll say it's within reach of both. Okay. Okay. And look at that one more time. All right, so that is within. He's within 25 feet. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I got stuck in traffic. How many times did I get killed? 17. Um, I cast flare. <laughs> That's a lot. You cast Especially flare? considering nobody's rolled anything. I cast flare. <laughs> Actually, I uh, I take a five foot. St no, I already moved. I cast flare on Warrior Two. Okay. <laughs> It's within close range, um, so that's uh, 25 feet. Um, it's a burst of light in front of a single creature. That creature is dazzled for one minute unless it makes a successful fortitude save. And uh, what's the save? Uh, fortitude negates. And I'm pretty sure the goblin doesn't have spell resistance. Oh, he exploded. <laughs> All right, so... It doesn't have spell resistance, but what save does it have to make? Fortitude. What is the target number? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't it's have your a, spell. It doesn't have a save DC. Uh, uh, 14. There we go. Since it's a cantrip. Okay. Very close, but it didn't actually make it, so. It. No, it didn't make it, so the spell did work. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> you were unclear. Yay, it's dazzled for a minute. <laughs> yep. Mm. I have always wanted to cast flare. <laughs> Next time, can I cast double flare? <laughs> it's my ultimate move. <laughs> You wanna you wanna know my, what my only combat spell is? <laughs> it's flare. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Thank you. Okay, so that's your turn up. Uh, Archer one. What's your racing, um, Jonathan? Um, according to the sheet, 15. That doesn't sound right. Uh, 10, because that's the base, plus 2 for armor, since I've got leather armor, and plus 3, oh, nope, didn't update with my dex. Uh, so that would be 16. Okay, that's better. It's just one point more. I don't, I'm, I'm medium size, I get no dodge bonuses, um, I uh, don't have any natural, nor do I have any deflect. Yeah, that's fair. You get stuck with the goblin arrow, take four points of damage. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh my god! <laughs> Okay, warrior four. Did you just say I choose you? Ah, oh, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, so Goblin Warrior comes up, takes a swing at you. Swing and a miss. Yes. He doesn't even um, beat your natural eight. He doesn't even meet your uh, base acing. <laughs> <laughs> He's below 10. <laughs> He's below 10. He swings at your knees and misses. <laughs> so, Pierre, you're up. Joke's on you. He doesn't have knees. No, well, I don't have weird knees. You have weird right knees. Right over to here. And I'm going to make... For the knees. For the knees have no lungs. I speak oh, with my knees. Strike. And I speak to your knees. Um, by the way, Pierre, if you move here instead, then you get flanking. Oh. Can't do that. Where was I? I was there? I can. So I can just move behind him. Yeah, I'll do that. And then we'll go with the flank. And if that's the case, I'm out oh. of risk of hitting Jonathan. This square I'm... specifically, because if you uh, move to the one you're currently in, then it gets an attack of opportunity. Wait, so which space? This one? Yeah. Uh, one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make an all-consuming swing. Okay. Which is a combination... All is consumed. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't need to. I'm just going to make a vital strike. Because I don't have multiple targets in this swing. <clears throat> so we'll just go with a vital strike. Which will double the damage on the single swing. Which my damage with two-handed is two D6s. With a modifier of nine. It is also enhanced by two? Yeah, you're flanking, so plus two. Well, I also have an enhancement because of, uh, what was it? One of my feats gives me uh, bonus uh, damage because I'm using a, a uh, masterwork weapon. Let's I'm waiting see. for the punchline. Yeah, I'm trying to do the math here. Um, so it's 11, and then... So we'll do... I need to do two. Well, let me add... Do just one D6 right now. And then we'll you add the other ones in. Roll the hit first before you roll your damage. Oh. I need to roll the hit? Uh, what do I need to roll then? Uh, D20 plus your uh, any attack modifiers plus that plus two I mentioned. That's plus two to hit, not plus two damage. Let's see, attack modifier is... Where do I find my attack mod modifier? Oh, wait. 19, okay. You have an attack modifier of 19? For melee? How? <laughs> uh, base That's... attack bonus is nine, ability is plus eight, and I have an additional two. Okay. That's how. Yeah. I don't think I can technically miss. <laughs> you have 26 strength? Uh. Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> 30. Alright. Well, um, you definitely hit. Alright, I'll switch to a d6 now. I'll remove my modifier for the first part of the damage. Oh damn it! Um, and then the next one is plus all the bonuses, which is nine, eleven. Yeah, okay. So eleven. So seventeen damage. Seventeen damage on warrior four. Yes. Okay. Well, it's not dead, but it's definitely bloodied and angry. I'm um, probably kind of scared for its life. Is there any... Can I technically grab at my cloak right now? You or that... can grab at your cloak, yes. Okay, I would like to grab at my cloak. Why before are you I end grabbing my turn. your cloak? It's a shield cloak. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the end of your turn. Uh, yep. Warrior three. 
And yes, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Wait, Warrior 3 is a bloodied mess without a head. Yes, it is. So uh, we're back to the top of the round. Yay. <laughs> You're not... Oh. And oh. Uh, now that it's the top of the round, the uh, goblins look around and realize they want no part of this. Does Warrior 3 take some damage from bleeding out? No, he's Warrior dead. Warrior 3 um, is unconscious. Yeah. Warrior 3 yes, doesn't have a head. He's not technically... Warrior 3 takes bleed. You said yeah. he blew his head off. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just delete Warrior 3 Warrior already. 3 is dead. If you want to be legalistic with the rules, he's unconscious and still has his head. But Can does it... it really matter for this instance? <laughs> no. Not really. If he's alive, though, Wait, I'm we going do to... We have the Staff of Resurrection. We can put him in the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll bleed out before he gets to your wagon. I can, I can throw him. I'm a two. I have the two-handed thrower uh, feet. Anyway, Warrior Three is off the menu. I cast okay. your light, and the rest of the goblins <laughs> uh, decide they want no part of this, so they start retreating. Okay. All right. So Archer Two. Heads back into the woods. Warrior one. Back into the woods. Wait, he's uh, woods? Wait, hang, hang on, hang on a second. Why is this web page so slow? Okay. Uh, well, if they're not... Here. If they're not going to be attacking us anymore, I suppose... Um, I suppose Aaron, we can help the wagon doing? people. These are woods. I, I, I legit thought we were on some kind of, like, a golf course or something with just all this homogeneous bright green grass. Aaron, and no scroll cover. down further. Yes, very good. <laughs> so, uh, can you delete your stuff now? Uh, wait, hang on. Just make sure Persephone's out of range of your deleting. <clears throat> okay. Now, now let, me, let me zoom out so I can actually... There we are. That's way too small. Um... I'm going to try to help the wagon people. Okay. So, um... Wait, where was I? It was like... Meh, right? Uh, um, yeah, that looks about right. Um, I, uh, I attempt to assess their injuries. Okay. Uh, roll me a heal check. Wait, wait. First of all, do I take an attack of opportunity from the mule? <laughs> no. Good. Heal check. Oh. Um. <clears throat> heal. Heal. He oh. Wow, well, I have a huge bonus on that for some reason. And a really crappy roll. Alright, give me a sec to see what that roll does. Okay, that was a roll of 14? Yeah. Okay, uh... You put bandages on the kid's wounds, um, it's still bleeding. Wow, all I meant to do was look at them, and apparently I've put bandages on him. Good job, you I didn't you even have to bandages. assist with healing them. I, I said I would examine the, the, their wounds, but it's okay. I'll take the free bandages. <laughs> <sighs> well, um, you know, hopefully a real healer can do the rest of this, uh, later. 
Um, Be there in a minute. <laughs> in the meantime, um, what happened? What do you mean? I happened? asked the NPCs. Oh. Those ah, who are okay. conscious. There you go. Right. Uh, the NPCs were uh, the last to leave um, Mud Hollow. Is it Mud Hollow? No, East Haven. Wrong town. Uh, the mother was. Uh... I cannot talk tonight. The mother was too sick to travel before, and uh, the husband insisted on waiting until she was well enough, so they were the last to leave town, which meant um, they were easy pickings for the goblins. Um. That's a shame. Well, uh, we have we have a healer in our party, so um, that should help. Um, I double check to make sure uh, to see if any of them are dead. Any of the people there? Yes. Um, Obviously, one of the goblins is dead. Yes, one of the goblins is dead, and the husband is dead. Okay. Not just unconscious? No, he is very dead. Okay. Really? Already? Uh, I offer to help load him in the cart. He sits up and says, I don't want to go on the cart, and then lies back down. <laughs> <sighs> I offer to take him for a walk. Cheap jokes. <laughs> Cheap jokes. I'm, I'm going to let someone else take a turn. I'm not the diplomacist <laughs> of the party. <laughs> okay, well, Archer 3 retreats. Warrior 2 retreats. Stepping over Warrior 3 as he goes. <clears throat> yeah. Can we follow his bloody footprints? I said stepping over, not in. Oh. Tim, that you said that not a moment too soon. I legit was like a second away from drawing a trail of footprints. <laughs> <laughs> like, I already had the paintbrush ready and everything. Anyway, Eugene. Yes, sir. Your turn. Um, all right. So Warrior Four isn't dead, but I don't I don't really need to Wait, was Warrior Two the one that's blind? Neck. Or dazzled, I should say. Um <clears throat> You're right, it is, so hold on a second. <laughs> I uh, believe Warrior he Two does... actually ran <laughs> Okay. Well he ran in a random direction and uh ran into the horse. Yes. <laughs> so he knocked himself over and now he's prone. Fan Fantastic. All right. So, um, the the dad's dead, and nobody else is hurt except for the horse. Correct. Uh, correct. Uh, in that case, uh, horse ain't. Well, no one else is injured except for the horse. Yeah. No. No. Horse. Horse ain't gonna die from bleeding out from a single arrow. Dang um, it! Okay. These drawing tools are just immediately. garbage. <laughs> I mean, it will eventually, but. All right, so I move there, and uh, I'm going to attack with my quarterstaff. Okay. Tim, um, what is my attack? It's an attack bonus? of opportunity. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not an attack of opportunity. Oh, well, um, you attack as normal, and I apply it. Um, I apply the penalties on this end, I think. Yeah, no, I'm I'm saying uh, just to confirm because my uh, uh, so I've got nine, is what it is. Um, I don't have your character sheet open. Cool. In fact, the character sheet's on a different computer. Um. Describe to me where the nine came from. 
Uh, I've got a BAB of six, and my strength is plus three. Nine sounds right. Cool. In that case, I would need to roll... Part of this is just talking through for Tori's sake. Uh, okay. So that would be rolling dice. I'll do this on screen even. Uh, so that's a 1d20. What? I That's not the correct thing. <laughs> uh, although, man, I wish it was. Uh, 1d20 plus 9, correct? Um... Uh roll. Hey, I rolled the same number. <laughs> Alright. I just so, would let you take that number anyway. 17 plus 9, so I got a 26. Okay. And... Um, you more than doubled what you would need to hit this particular guy. Very good. In that case, I'm going to do damage. So that's 1d6 plus my strength, correct? So 1d6 plus... Uh, times, oh, one and a half times your strength. Yeah. So 1 Because double-handed weapon. Plus 4. 6 damage! Do I get any bonuses because he's prone? <laughs> Just move that blood splatter off of him. And uh, not to damage, no. Aww. Does he get pinned by the fact that he's been attacked? Uh, no, he doesn't. Ah. <clears throat> Although if he tries to leave, he will provoke an attack of opportunity. Yep. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand here and keep beating the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. well, um... That was my move and attack. Archer 1 is running. Warrior 4 also wants to run, which means, Pierre, you get an attack of opportunity. Oh, sweet. Does that require my turn, or do I just do it? Uh, you just do it. Okay. Well, we'll just go with another vital strike, then. Um, I think it just has to be a regular attack. Oh, okay. Well, since I'm still two using a two-handed weapon... Uh, do I still roll for a uh, chance to hit? Yep. Alright, and that's plus my strength modifier? Uh, plus your strength modifier, plus your basic attack bonus. Okay. I don't think I'm going to need that much. What is your BAB? <laughs> uh, where is that? It's somewhere in here. Uh... You're a level 9 war something... Oh, it's nine. <laughs> Whoa. What? What is your class? Perfect BAB. Warmaster. Warmaster. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like something that would have perfect BAB. Yeah. So nineteen. That's twenty-eight. Twenty-eight to hit. Well, uh, forty. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Forty hits. All right, and then we'll do another... How's your melee attack bonus 28? And I get the 9, and I'm guessing that you have a uh, plus 6 on strength. I have plus 8 on strength. Okay. So I was a little bit wrong. Yeah, yes. my so melee the rest, modifier Where did the other is, 11 come so that's from? that's 17. Where'd you get the other 11? Wait. I thought we were doing the, me the attack melee modifier. That's 19, because it's my BAB, oh. It's 9 plus strength, which will be... Um, oh, wait, I did that wrong. All the I same. Mean, you hit it, the guy no matter what. 17. Yeah, it's 19. It's 19 because I've got a plus 2 for uh, my melee attack modifier due to something in my feet. I don't remember what anymore. But it has me adding plus 2. Oh, it's because of the... Is that because of a... Uh... No. What is that? I know there's something in here that, like, gives me a bonus, too. What is it? 
Is it because I'm using a masterwork weapon? Uh, War Master. Uh, I've got Mark of Quality, Circumstance Bonus. Attack rolls. Circumstance bonus increases to two. No, I'll be right back. I think my roommate wants me. Okay. Uh, you receive a plus one circumstance bonus at the object. Weapon the bonus is applied to attack rolls. If armor... I don't know where those plus two came from anymore. Plus two intelligence. Hmm. I, for the life of me, cannot figure out where the plus two came from anymore. It came from something. Uh, is... it might have been, um, uh, flanking. Maybe. I don't know how much flanking it's gives my, you, but... It's on my page. Oh. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. You should have a... Oh, wait, was that part of the drunk thing? I don't know. I don't have access to your uh, player sheet. And I try not to read other people's character sheets anyways. No. That's kind of a, a Tim thing. Yeah. I don't need to know your juicy tidbits. <laughs> what is it? Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a monster. That's just an NPC. An NPC never mind. I cannot figure out for the life of me where... Alcohol, maybe. If I look in here... Nope, doesn't tell me. <laughs> ah, where did it come from? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go? <laughs> Got battle tactics, but that's not influenced. Oh, good talk. All right, I'm back. Hey. Yeah, Tim, I don't understand where this plus two came from. Um. Okay, tell me what's in your feats. Uh, battle tactics, which I don't have any active right now. Console, okay. which is replace diplomacy, which is not important. Oh, mark of quality. Plus one circumstance bonus when using masterwork equips. Maybe that's supposed to be a plus one instead of a plus two. Or there might be another plus one in there somewhere. Yeah. Um, a two-handed thrower, which is not important right now. Uh, power attack, but that's a, that's a type of attack. Uh, vital strike... Uh, cleave, all-consuming swing, quick draw. Those are all attacks based on feats. Um, Warmaster talents, which is contacts, uh, which is my diplomacy check. I can check to see if I know if I have a contact within the town. Um, coordinated attack, uh, which is concealed or is ignored. Total concealed is just concealed. Invisible can be pinpointed by someone who can reduce concealment. Um, cover fire, which is uh, provide aid and other ability to ranged ally under effective battle tactic. And fighting spirit, gain an additional combat feat, which I use to get quick draw. Fighting spirit. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have a master or weapon? Yes. Okay. That's where the other plus one came from. Masterwork normally gives plus one to hit. But I thought I already calculated that in. So where did the did second one come from? Tempest Trials. 
Oh no. Oh no, I have made a mistake. Oh no! Oh, Long Johnson. Or is it maybe because of my weapon? Because my weapon has an el elicited enhancement of two. Oh. I, I started this with the wrong team. Oh, because it's adamantine. Adamantine. I went with an adamant. Yeah, it's a material. I know. It's I just like the way you said it. <laughs> yeah. Which is not the correct way to, to say it, but yeah. it's still... Uh, Edmontine. <laughs> you sound like Video a pump of ass. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm looking at that now. Uh, that's an enhancement bonus on attack uh, rolls. Yep. Weapons and ammunition have a plus one enhancement bonus on attack rolls. Which is where the other one came from. That puts it up to plus two. That's yep, why I have 19. Yeah. So we've done the math. All the same. I did a little bit fudging the numbers for that one roll. It should have been 12 plus 19, which is 31. That still hits by a long shot. Yeah. What about a dead shot? So we'll just still, we'll do the rolls now. Uh, two again for the first roll of plus six. And then plus nine. Does it hit I'd by a dead shot? Uh, fourteen. So, so sixteen six total. Yeah. Okay. Did I just slice him in half? Yeah, you just sliced him in half, and not exaggerating like I did for the first one. This guy is definitely dead and gone. Wow. Here he's not just bleeding out from his lower half being missing while unconscious. Alright. So that makes it my turn now? Now that I've killed um, off who they, the person before me? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Uh, let's see. Can I get... I can get there. That might be close enough. Uh, Tim, I'm going to use two-handed thrower, and because I have quick draw, I can do that as a, as a turn, as an attack move. As well as still move, instead of it being a full motion. I mean, a full round attack. Wait, I thought this guy was dead. Like, if I remember, if I did that right, it said that I can do, usually two-handed weapons would be a full round uh, movement. But because I have quick draw as a skill. Technically, Aaron, he is uh, not bled out yet. And so I would like to throw my sword at the other one. Okay. Yeah, considering he's only... Uh, 20 feet from me. And uh, what was your throwing feet called? A uh, two-handed thrower. Which... Uh, it doesn't calculate for... It doesn't tell me quite why I the distance I need to throw it at. It doesn't give me information on that part. I just need a strength of 15, which I'm well beyond. Are you sure? Uh, what weapon do you have? Uh, it's a two-handed greatsword. Weighs about eight pounds. But I also have a ranged attack modifier of plus 11. It's also heart-seeking, so it'll seek out the target. <laughs> oh, fighters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fighters, enough said. Yeah, they okay. really uh, is. Roll to hit. So I just roll with my uh, ranged attack modifier? Yeah, yep. roll with the punches. 17. Mm. Mm. That actually misses. Dang it! Flies right over his shoulder. I call it back. Okay. 
does it does it hit the dude on the return? <laughs> <laughs> we are not using lightsaber tactics here. They would have lost all momentum if it Damn. tried to return. <laughs> what if it did though? <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought about that? I have, actually. But we're not. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> In order to use lightsaber tactics, he would have to have some control over the return trajectory. Tim, but lightsabers are in this game. Yes, but the Force is not. <laughs> Dang it. If he was an Eldritch fight? Knight, then if he crit... Then he could throw his sword and use Mage Hand to bring it back to him on the same turn. And in that case, yes, it would work, but not here. But because my weapon is a called weapon, it will make its way back to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the weapon will make its way back to you, but you don't get to pick the trajectory. Yeah. So the weapon just picks the path of least resistance, which doesn't hit anything. No, no, it yeah. goes on a find my trajectory through every point in the universe. But this means I can also chase down this goblin and continue to try and sword at him. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Let's see. How much distance can it make in that time? 30 feet, which is still... Well, that puts me in range of the archers, but I don't need to get the full distance. As long as I stay... 30 feet out, I'll have at least some advantage. Or I could just throw it at the one that Jonathan's picking at. No! <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> okay, well, suffice it to say, your turn's over. Yeah. Okay. Archer 2 disappears into the woods. Gone forever until probably later when we have to uh, deal with the consequences of our rash actions. Right. Warrior 1 keeps running like a scared <laughs> goblin. Goblin. With all the right reasons. I mean, someone just threw a two-handed sword at him. Yeah, just barely missing two. Use both hands. Went over his shoulder. Persephone's <laughs> turn. Yay! Um, was I able to check on the mom from here? Um, sure. Is she hot? She's not wounded, oh. but she does actually look sick. Not my department. I come over to... One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not right. Can we just say you walk on the part of the map that isn't currently visible? There. I take this trajectory so as to not provoke attacks of opportunity. He's prone. He can't uh, invoke an attack of It pays to be prepared. And then attempt a, attempt a point-blank shot. I mean... Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, Aaron, you would end up... That's not right. Here. No, 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 because cause, cause I was on this square. Yeah. So this is the first one. And I can yep. move 30, so it's 1, 2, 3, When you're moving four, through diagonals, the first five. one counts as 5 feet, but the next one counts as 10. I stand here. <laughs> okay. That's a weird... And then attempt a point-blank shot from one extra square away. Oh, Which man. Be the depth of me. So far. Yeah, a good ten feet. Yeah, point-blank shot from ten feet away. <laughs> Alright, and since we are within 30, that's a plus five, yeah. so... It's, it's weird, because 
yeah, actually, point blank shot does work that way. That was a really shitty roll. <laughs> and yet you still hit. Coming. It uh, wasn't a one, a so I presume I didn't five. kill the NPCs. <laughs> no, you um, didn't kill the NPCs. You're right. You didn't kill the NPCs. You hit it. Yay. How much? Did I get a sneak attack? Um... Actually, I need to check on that, whether or not um, sneak attack counts on things that are prone. Do you know off the top of your head? No. I don't have sneak attack. Ah, oh, nice. I got the max damage. I'm just a rogue. <laughs> okay. You deal sneak attack damage anytime your target is denied a dexterity bonus to its AC. So, yes, absolutely sneak attack. Yep. Uh, that totals 20. 20 damage total? Mm-hmm. He dead. Okay. Well, he unconscious, since you guys seem to make a fuss out of that. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I got this. I've been practicing. Um, and since this is a repeating crossbow, can I get a second shot on the other guy? Uh, no. Oh. If it was a second shot on the first... Well, actually, even then, probably not. There. <laughs> now we all agree he's dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, repeating crossbow doesn't mean you can fire multiple times per round. It means that you don't have to take a um, yeah reload multiple, action. It, it, yeah, I, I keep getting mixed up because like I have another friend who's running a fifth edition campaign. Apparently, repeating weapons give you two shots per turn in that one. Um, or he's might, DMing. This is in fifth edition. Fifth edition is great. But you can see where I would get confused. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, is there a, uh, do I need to check to see if the other one notices me? Warrior one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. The one next to Mike. Oh, no, that, that dude, uh. That one's dead. Doesn't have his head. Oh, he's dead. Oh, right, this is Mike his, just his desecrating his off. corpse. Yes. Why is the blood gone? If, if it was. I need this as a, as a mental reminder. If, if it was. Who's dead. If it was Mr. Jaro, uh, he would currently be holding one or more of his limbs. <laughs> spine, spine, spine. I'm skipping with your spine. Spine, spine, Might accidentally spine. put the blood on my... It was yours, but now it is mine. Oh, yeah. Why? Oh, you erased the blood, dang it. Fine, we'll just have no corpses on the field at all. Let me get rid of this Archer little Archer 3's turn. Too. Archer 3 disappears into the woods. Delete. Wait, what's Warrior 1 doing all the way over here? Running from here. Oh, I'll leave him alone. It's my turn. Um, Tim, what is, what is the current status of the horse? Um, I thought it was a mule. Nah, whatever. The animal. Four-legged pack beast. So um, it's an ox. It's agitated. It's got arrows in it. Um, it's not in immediate danger. Uh, all right. Um, I'm not handle going... animal. Yeah. I'm not going to try healing it. Uh, Cirrus will heal it. Um, okay. Because, I mean, the horse doesn't need to be healed right now, so we'll just say that Cirrus heals it. Um, and Cirrus can heal more than I can. Cleric. Um, I feel like in this case, when there appears to be less danger to it, um, handle animals probably the better option. 
Um, looking that up. Uh, what's its intelligence, Tim? Um, I'm gonna say one. Oh. <laughs> what? Because I can speak Sylvan, which is the uh, <laughs> language of woodland beasts. Um, I think if it's a, if it has an intelligence over three, then it's technically classified as sentient. However idiotic it may be. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh. yeah, it looks like handle an animal involves commanding an animal to perform a task or trick that it knows. If it's Call. wounded or has taken any non-lethal damage, the DC increases by two. Oh no, twelve plus whatever you decide to do it. So that. Uh, so can I use that to calm it down? Um, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I got to use my. Uh, that's not. I keep pressing that because it seems like it would be a good idea. But it turns out to never be a good idea. There you go, 33. <laughs> <laughs> Do I beat the DC for it? Is it calm now? It's yeah, so it was calm. close, but yeah, it's calm. It's on con. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I calmed you it to death. You rocked it to sleep. You calmed it too much, it's in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> just chill out, and then they just like flop over dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Stop so praying Archer for my grandfather. One. He's becoming too powerful. Disappears in the forest. Mike. <laughs> Mike disappears into the forest. <laughs> Ooh, I, I have a mind on my next turn to just disappear into the forest. I can move that much. Don't shoot him in the back. He already gave up. I'm not going to shoot him in the back. He, he never even did him in the back. He mostly just was on back. the map and then left. <laughs> and point blank because well <laughs> if only point blank shot worked for uh, melee as well ah dang I'm outside 30 feet to Mike ooh I'm going to go with an all consuming swing <laughs> because it means I can do an additional attack as well as a vital strike, or do we I just farming XP out here, aren't you? Do do we want to keep <laughs> one of them for questioning? Do any oh, did, of you speak goblin? You do. The one next I to do. you is unconscious. Wait, no, literally, this is on my character sheet. I speak gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, the one next to your character is still technically alive. It's just unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. So. I can completely obliterate this one. Or I could interview him. <laughs> Interrogate him. That's what I so, meant. <laughs> we're going to do an all-consuming swing. It will cost me some of my own health, but that can be easily resolved. You go to Warrior 1, you're like, all right, so what do you think you could bring to this party? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I got some beer, and I ordered a pizza. Uh, well, beer is not important. Hey, See you later, you need Tori. beer for a party. We'll be. Well, I guess you don't soon. need beer, but you do need pizza. I mean, we've got mead. Here's Not the a thing. proper party with no pizza. What is a vital bonus? Where is that? Do you have vitals still? Then you get a bonus. It's not actually how it works. Don't listen to me. <laughs> if you have vitals, you get a bonus. <laughs> well, the thing is, it seems a bit broken. <laughs> I take self-inflicted damage equal to my vital vital bonus for these attacks. So, I'll figure that out after I figure out if I hit him because I need to hit him the first time for it to consuming swing. Otherwise, it's just a power attack. Am I the only one who's hearing people cutting in and out? I think so. Uh, a little bit? Already. Oh. I think I hit. I'm not really hearing anyone cut in and out. Uh, hmm. Yeah, 30 hits. 30 okay. hits a lot. 30 yeah. hits? That's a lot. 
So now we gotta do the first attack damage, which is six. No. Uh, Dang it. I'm 13, so that equals to being 19 for the first attack. In this one, I only get a plus... F no, the, the, the damage... No, wait. My attack modifier is going to drop. Figure it out. Is that attack Are you making a full round attack? Like I, for my second attack, my attack modifier drops. Does that mean for my... Uh, that's for is that for my melee attack modifier? Uh are you making a full that, round attack? Uh there. I'm going in for a second attack because that's part of all consuming swing because it's technically a cleave. And cleave is make an additional attack if the first hits. Okay, I'm checking on these things now. Yeah. I gotta make things complicated. <laughs> Let's see. You know, where do the attack modifiers for a weapon apply? Is it for whether I hit or is it for the damage? Because I'm pretty sure it's damage. Okay, looks like this checks out. Your character is insane, by the way. Yeah. So it is damage, then. I'm just doing a little less damage for the next attack. So it's still 19 for the next hit. Uh, 28, does it hit? Tim? Uh, 28 does hit. Okay. Sorry, cut out a bit. Okay. Um, now I do another attack. Three. So 14. So you do 33 damage total. Yeah. Have I maimed him enough? <laughs> no, you should maim him some You more. swung your sword. Aaron, the reason I keep deleting these blood splatters is because people can't see what's under them. Oh, um, I'll try and make them a little smaller next time. Okay, so uh, you swung your sword twice, and he fell into three pieces. <laughs> and that's even without me remembering to double the damage on the first attack. Oops. Oh, well. I'll remember next time. <laughs> yep. So, uh, you're out of enemies. Yeah. I Bob moved survived. to loot the corpse. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to loot the corpses? I... At least a check. Okay. Um... Is check? I don't really think you need to check. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you're going to miss anything. Okay. Is there anything worthwhile? Is there any form of currency left on these goblins? Uh, goblins don't typically use currency, and also they're goblins, so all of their gear is absolutely worthless. Yes, but sometimes they might pick up something shiny, not knowing what it is. Uh, they were coming to these people in the hopes of getting something shiny. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing on it, then. Shinies. So, are we done with this combat? Uh, done with the combat, yes. Um, Alright. Alright, so... Someone needs to go over and, uh... Talk to the villagers. I'm going to stabilize this goblin after tying him up. I'm going to throw the corpse I've just murdered into the forest... <laughs> uh so the the goblin right next to me i'm stabilizing real quick uh do you want me to roll okay. for heal um nah you can take 20 on it 
Yeah. Um, who's gonna go talk to the people, or are we just gonna do it all at once, like one after the other? I don't think we want the drunkard talking to the people. Fair. All right. So goblins tied up. Um, we'll throw them in the back of the wagon. I'm assuming Cirrus is healing the horse now, so that these people can move on their way. And yep. uh, I go and talk to the mom. Okay. The woman drops her crossbow and gathers the two crying lads in her arms. Her face shines with gratitude through tear-streaked cheeks. A million times thank you, champions. We were nearly all lost. Um, very Yay. sorry we couldn't get here in time. Um, you know, sooner, I suppose. Uh, is, is there anything we can do to help you further on your journey? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to actually play this. <laughs> it was like, good talk. Oh, I <laughs> also found out what I need to do. Some more. Uh, the damage I was supposed to double. Yeah, that's the damage I take as well. So I take 19 damage. Oh, no. I'm down to 106. <laughs> anyway, um... What you see in this wagon is all of our worldly possessions. Our uh, mule will be all right. I can't talk. Our mule will be all right uh, if it can't pull the wagon, but if there's anything you could do uh, so we wouldn't have to leave all this behind. Don't we have a horse? I mean, the, the mule's going to be fully recovered and able to pull the wagon. I do a perception check on the wagon. Okay. I'm looking for damage on the wagon itself, whether it's still operable. Uh, yeah, the wagon's fine. It's got a few arrows poking out of it, but nothing that's gonna break anything. Okay, so it's technically still capable of running, just need, the horse needs to be recovered. The yeah. mule needs to recover. So they'll be on their way. Oh right, you said Cirrus was healing the horse, right? Yes, yes. I did. Okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's why Jonathan kind of that's got a little like, stammered. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that... For some reason, I completely forgot you said that. Alright, so... The horse is healed. And... My brain is full of fog tonight. <laughs> it's okay, we're about to end. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, the woman thanks you for um, allowing them to keep their life savings. Yay. Uh, if what only is... my husband was here to see it. <laughs> what are the circumstances of Mud Hollow right now? Uh, they're not good. Can you elaborate? <laughs> I'm about to elaborate. I had to cough. Thank you. Uh, so we haven't seen any direct reports. Last we saw, the town was emptying out. But um, there are rumors that it's been taken over by the undead. The undead? Bum, bum, bum. That's probably not a good thing. No, no, that's not a good thing. Okay. Didn't they just come from that place, though? Uh, no, they came from East Haven. Oh, I thought that's no, why I was asking. they came from West Haven. They're heading towards East Haven. That's why I asked about Mud Hollow, because I thought they were coming from Mud Hollow. Uh, so what's the situation at mm, Haven? At mm, Haven. <laughs> I have trained you well. You've, you have now confused <laughs> me about which Haven is which. <laughs> well, um, 
West Haven is to the west, and East Haven is to the Thank you. North. Um, <laughs> forget you. <laughs> Moving on. So I'm sorry, West Haven is Wester, and East Haven is north. Yes. That is more accurate. I will accept this. So, what are the so, circumstances at Mm Haven? Mm Haven, yes. Well, we were the last ones out because of my illness. My husband didn't want us to travel. Um, it's nearly when we left. It was nearly overrun by Mort Chemnon. By now, I can only imagine the entire town belongs to him. Mort Chemnon. Um, yes, that is what she said. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's not good. Can you give us any information that's uh valuable? I'm afraid I've told you everything I know. I, I'm no warrior, my lord. Um, and I'm no lord, my warrior. <laughs> But you handled that crossbow oh so very well. Well, uh, she really didn't. She didn't shoot once while you guys were fighting. Oh, she. We're still she, talking to mom, right? When when you, <laughs> well, I mean that's true, but that that took like what thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just had a really low initiative. In thirty oh. seconds, I obliterated two goblins. <laughs> Well, uh, travel well. I guess. Stay you safe, too, my lord. Do you have any mead? <laughs> Don't give them any You mead. have plenty of mead. <laughs> 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 One can never have too much mead. <laughs> uh, don't mind him, my lady. <laughs> All right, so they carry on. My wayward son. Both her wayward sons. And her dead husband. They're wayward? Why are they so wayward? They don't have a father anymore. That's... <laughs> that is fair. It's absolutely fair. All right, well, I think that's it. Right? Yep, that's about it. I mean, like, we just need to remember to next time talk to the Gobby. Yep. I honestly expected that to not take as much time since the goblins fled the turn after you showed up. Well, that's because we have to kill them all. Hey, Tim, how much XP yeah. do we get? <laughs> Uh, this is how these games work, Tim. Don't you know? The party gets twenty-four uh, hundred XP total, so uh, six hundred apiece. Okay. Or are we doing the same thing that we did last time, which is twenty-four hundred divided by the three that were here, and then Dominic also gets that amount? Uh, yeah, fair. Eight hundred apiece. Yay! Yay! What? I used my diplomacy skill. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 35 ranks in it. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a fun time. I'll put in the chat that. Hey, oh, Dom, you get 800 XP. Cool. Anything else we want to do? That's Sweet. up to you guys. <laughs> In that case, good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Tomorrow. 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 <laughs> What's going on tomorrow? Dank Swoles. Dank Do Swoles. Dominic's going to play his solo series. Right. In which he plays through Dark Souls 3. 
as dank as can be. Uh, no T3 on Tuesday, unfortunately. Dominic's still busy. Correct. Mm. We should have the return of three hard challenge this coming Friday. All right. And as usual, GG Wednesday. As always. And as usual, nothing Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> For good reasons. All right. We'll see you all later. Bye. All right. Bye. See you.